Hello and welcome back to the Cracky Thing YouTube channel. Today we're solving today's lead code daily question 1106, parsing a Boolean expression. A Boolean expression is an expression that evaluates to either true or false. It can be in either of the following shapes. T that evaluates to true, F that evaluates to false, not sub expression that evaluates the logical not of the inner expression and some sub expression which evaluates the logical and or we can have a or sub expression, which of course does the or. Given an expression um, that represents a Boolean expression, return the evaluation of it. And it is guaranteed that the expression is valid and follows the given rules. <coughs> so let's look at a very big example. We have this expression, not parentheses and uh, false and true. <coughs> so let's evaluate this. So obviously uh, false and true, so and false and true. So in order for this to be true, they both have to be true, but because there's the false, uh, it's false. So and false and true is false, and then not false is going to be true. <clears throat> so obviously, if you do this on a pen and paper, it's relatively simple, but actually solving it in code is a little bit more tricky, but actually not that bad. So the way that you saw, obviously, we wanted to go as deep as we possibly could, evaluate the expression, and then start applying things on outer levels. And this lends itself basically very well to using a stack. So what we want to do is essentially just parse the string from left to right. Whenever we see an expression, we're going to add it to our stack. So we're going to put the not on it. Then we see an opening parentheses. We will actually ignore these. Um, because they don't mean anything for us. And then we have this and operator, and I'm just gonna write uh, and, because I can't draw that with my pen. Uh, so we're gonna say and. <clears throat> we see another open parenthesis. Then we see this F. We're gonna put that onto the stack. We ignore commas, because they don't mean anything. Uh, and then we see this T. And then when we see a closing parenthesis, then we have to start popping from our stack. Now remember, when we see a closing parenthesis, we're going to have some Boolean expressions inside and we need to get those out. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep track of whether the expressions that we've parsed out of the Boolean part, whether they contain true or not, and also whether they contain false. So we're going to say, um, let's see, has true, initially this is going to be false, and then has false is going to equal to false as well. So we're basically going to pop from the stack and we're going to update our variables as we go along. So obviously we pop this true, <coughs> which means that this now becomes true because we've seen a true. And then we pop this false and then we've now seen a false as well. So when we actually hit um, our expression now, this and, we can now stop popping these and now actually apply the operator. So we're going to say, okay, we want to apply and to these two, right? So obviously for and, in order for this to be true, then both of these will have to, be, well, we'll have to have a true and no false, right? Because if you have a true and a false, then it's always false. Uh, in order to be um, true, it has to only be true, right? So since we have has true equals true and has false equals true, that means that this and will um, evaluate to false, right? And then, so we've now popped that from the stack. And then we just have to pop this uh, not operator. So obviously, in this case, we just apply a not to whatever the like the previous result was. So I guess we'd pop we put the false back onto the stack now that we've evaluated the end. Um, and then oh, actually, no, we don't put it back on the stack. Sorry, we'll just keep track of it in a variable. And then we'll just apply the not. So we'll flip whatever the, the current value is, which obviously not false uh, is going to be equal to true. So that's essentially how we're going to solve it. Again, what we're going to do is we're simply going to go over the stack from left to right. Every time we see an expression, we're going to put that onto the stack. If we see an opening parenthesis or a comma, we'll just ignore those. We don't need to do anything there. Uh, same thing if we see a, a true or a false, we're going to put it onto the stack. The only time we need to start popping and doing anything is when we see a closing parenthesis, because that means that we have to go back, start popping elements and actually evaluating our expression. And then, um, yeah, that's all we have to do. And eventually we'll get through the entire string and we'll have our final result. So that is kind of the, the high level overview of the intuition for the algorithm and the approach we wanna take. Let's now actually go to the code editor and type it up. I promise it's actually not that hard. Okay, let's now code this up. Remember that we wanna use a stack, so let's define that variable. So we're gonna say stack, gonna be empty. Whoops, <coughs> stack only has one A. Um, okay. Now, remember, we need to parse over the expression from left to right. So let's do that. So we're going to say for the current character in expression, 
Remember that we want to ignore any commas or open parentheses because there's nothing for us to do at that point. So we're going to say if the current character <coughs> equals to a comma or the current character equals to oops, a open parentheses, then we can simply just continue. There's nothing for us to do. Uh, we'll just go to the next iteration of the loop. Now what we want to do is we want to say <coughs> if the current character is any of the operators where we actually want to push to the stack. So basically anything that's not a um, closing operator, then we need to add that to the stack. So we're going to say if uh, the current character, uh, current char um, does not equal to a closing parenthesis, since we already checked that it doesn't equal to a um, uh, comma or a uh, opening parenthesis, all we have to do is check that it doesn't equal to this, and therefore it's going to be one of the other operators. Uh, then we're simply going to say stack append um, the current character. Okay. Otherwise, if we have one of these um, characters, or sorry, if um, it's now a closing parenthesis, then we have to actually handle it. So um, let's see else. What we want to do here is we want to say, does the expression have a true value? We're going to say has true uh, equals to false. Um, and also we want to say has false uh, equals to false. So we want to just double check that we haven't seen anything yet. Obviously, we haven't processed anything yet, so it's going to be false. Now we need to basically just keep popping from the stack until we actually hit one of the logical operators. So basically a not an and or an or operator, because we just want to get all of the kind of booleans um, inside of our parentheses, and then we'll apply the, the logical operator that comes after it, uh, or I guess before it in the parentheses. So we're going to say while, um, let's see, stack minus one, uh, not in, let's see, so we want to check that it doesn't equal to this, um, it's an and, Oh, and I believe it's or, right? Yeah, so if it's not uh, not or or and, uh, then we need to basically <coughs> pop from the top of the stack. So we're going to say the top value equals to stack.pop. So we're going to get it off the stack. And then we need to check, okay, is this value a true or is it a false? So we're going to say if the top value um, equals to true, then we're going to say has true. Obviously, this is true because we've seen one. Otherwise, if the top value equals to false, um, then we're going to just say has false, and this is going to be set equal to true. Okay, great. So <clears throat> we have now removed all of the logical operators. Now it's time to actually get whatever the next operator will be, which is one of these um, kind of Boolean operators. So we need to basically say that the operator is going to equal to stack.pop because that's what's going to come after it. Remember that we have an operator and then some sort of parentheses inside that parentheses will be um, our, our Boolean operator or our Boolean values. <clears throat> so the next one in the stack should always be the operator. So we're going to pop the operator. And now depending on what the operator is, we just need to add um, to kind of the stack uh, the, the value, right? So we're going to say if the operator uh, equals to a not, then we simply just need to do what? So we're going to say stack the append. So we're going to append true if not has true. Um, otherwise false. And then if the operator is an and, so elif uh, operator equals and, um, let's see. <clears throat> We're going to do stack.append. So it should be false um, if has false, right? If if there's a false in there, then it's always going to evaluate to false. Otherwise, um, true. And then we have else, obviously the case where we have the uh, or. Basically, it's true if there is a true. Otherwise, it's false, right? So we're going to say stack.append uh, true if has true. Um, else uh, false. Okay, so that is now um, our stack. And then we basically will just keep going through this um, and applying all of our operators collecting um, the booleans that we have so far, and applying the logic uh, as we go through the string. Now once we actually exit here, and let me figure out what my indent is because this code is getting a bit large. Okay, it should be there. Okay. 
Um, now, the last thing we need to do is basically just return uh, whatever is at the top of the stack. At the end, the top of the stack will just contain our result. So we should return true if the top of the stack is true and then return false if the top of the stack um, is that. So we're basically gonna say return um, stack minus one uh, equals to true. So basically return true if the top of the stack is true, uh, return false uh, if the stack top of the stack is false. So let's just run this, make sure we didn't make any mistakes and we are good, cool, accepted and beats 100%. Okay, cool, nice. Um, let's see, actually, can I just return the top of the stack? Will I give me the right answer? It's bugging me. No, why is that? Oh, because uh, you have to return um, not the actual string. Okay, that's why. Um, yeah, I did this problem a while ago and I was like, why do I return? Anyway, that's enough blabbing. Uh, okay, cool. So that's how you solve this problem. Obviously for the time and space complexity, let's go through that real quick. So for the time we are, all we're doing is going from left to right over the expression. And at each stage, basically, we are processing a character. Uh, we may need to pop some things from the stack, but um, ultimately all we're doing is going through the string from left to right um, and doing a few operations. And this is just gonna be big O of n time. For the space, obviously, we need the stack. In the worst case, um, I guess there won't be any expression. I guess there'll only be one uh, that we have to store, right? Like a not, and then a, the rest of the string is just our true values. But either way, um, the space is basically just it depends on the expression. So basically how many um, tr Boolean values we have is how many we're gonna have to store. And it all depends on how long the string is. So big O of n. So that is how you solve this problem. Mark to hard, but really not that bad. I think it's one of those where it actually kind of makes sense logically. Like you're not doing anything here that's too crazy. There's no wild you know, data structure. It's just a stack and you're just basically doing it how you would on paper. Um, maybe replicating that is a bit tricky, but I mean, all of this is, is pretty straightforward. I probably would say this is a medium, but whatever. Uh, I don't judge the questions. Anyway, so that's the video. If you enjoyed it, why not leave a like and a comment? It helps me out with YouTube algorithm. Subscribe for more daily videos, unless it's bit manipulation or dynamic programming, because we don't do that shit on this channel. Um, otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Bye.